Hi, this is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at some stationary items that I picked up from Mike and Audrey Madison at Ink Dependence. And let's get into the box. Okay, this says, enjoy, from Mike. I wonder if this is the ink I ordered. Oh, a neat little note. Ah, this is my sticker that I ordered. I've got a rickshaw sleeve that I ordered from Mike previously. I think I got it when I picked up my little pen rest. And so I got a matching sticker. And I finally, after the third batch, got some of Mike's Cheerio Water Bus from Pannonia. And that looks really cool. I'm anxious to try it. Let's see. Oh, and it's got his logo on the box. 60 milliliters, so that's going to be a nice amount of ink. And I also up one of his branded nibs. Oh, I thought it was just going to be the nib. It's the entire housing and everything. Nice. Okay, and it also has the logo on it. I picked this up. It is a fine nib. And I like the new Yovo nibs that are really clean. They don't have the scroll work. And I picked it up to possibly use on my new Leonardo Memento Zero. This is an extra fine, and I'm hoping that the fine is just enough bigger that, you know, some inks, how they, you just need a little more line width to um, for the ink to really do its thing. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Whenever I do my my full ink test of Pannonia Water Bus, I'll try this fine and extra fine nib side by side and see how they compare. But for now, I'm just going to do one of my ink swatches that I normally do off camera in my ink journal, my Hobonichi planner that I've converted to an ink journal. And I'm just going to do the part that I do with my dip pen and the swatch that I do with my tweezers. Since I'm opening this for the first time, I'm going to need to use my pocket knife again. I'm going to use the fingernail file so maybe I won't damage the box. Yeah, it says shake before use. I believe, if I'm remembering this correctly, instead of having a shimmer in it, this ink has, yeah, and you can kind of see it collected here. I don't think it's technically shimmer, it's a pigment. So I guess a super saturation of pigment, an extra amount of pigment. It looks like this is mostly just the ink, and this swatch here has a lot of the pigment in it. Yeah, you can still see that pigment that settled out. Still just a little bit. I wonder if this pigment settles out as quickly as shimmer does. Okay, looks like it's all back incorporated. I have a napkin handy. It's nice. It's got a lot of green to it. 
it's a teal, but the, the pigment is blue. Let's see, let me read dip. Okay, let's see what it looks like when I rinse the nib off. That rinsed off pretty easily. That's a good sign. Okay, now my tweezers. I just pinch it and dip, and then the tweezers act like an automatic pen. The tweezers just hold the ink in between the two sides. Okay, while that dries, we've got a nice little drip there at the end. Here's my paper napkin where I cleaned off my tweezers. Let's add a little water here and see if we get any kind of chromatography effect. I can see the green separating, or the blue, running away from the green. That's pretty interesting. All right, now this is coming out on my viewfinder. It is a lot more turquoise. It's what I'm seeing in this swatch is more of a minty green, like a spearmint green. I'm not sure, but in the wetter parts, it's I like the darkness that I'm getting, and I see like a, a halo maybe of that blue pigment. So that makes me think... This ink may look its best in a wider nib. I'm excited about doing my ink test now. I'll probably start doing my ink test immediately after I film this. So within a day or two, I should have that up here on YouTube. All right, I'm excited. Let's see. And it... It's not matchy-matchy with my new Leonardo pen, but I think it would look good. And another pen I'm eager to try it in is my Faber-Castell Ambition. These type of teals and turquoises I really like with this flamingo-colored pen. All right, before I shut it down, this is not Cheerio Water Bus. This looks like some type of blue-black and I wanted to go ahead and mention that it looks like the pigment does settle out pretty quickly like a shimmer does. You can't actually see the particles. It's, it seems almost like a powder, so it, it's acting kind of like a matte shimmer, I believe. So I'm anxious to see how this works out in my pens. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.